Life and death used to be something very distant to me. I used to be too young to be mindful about hearing incidents on the news or things happening around me. I used to think that this is life. From my pure sympathy as a human being, I feel sorry for the people who passed, but I never really fully understand or appreciate what is this phrase, this is life, actually means. A lot has happened since last year. A colleague of mine passed away before Christmas, as well as my beloved puppy in the UK left us. Last September, I went to a funeral of my other ex-colleague, and then just recently, I've been through yet another funeral of my beloved Mumsy in the UK. And it sucks that we couldn't go back. This Christmas holiday feels especially different for me. While my family and I had a great Christmas time in the name of our UK family, lots and lots of laughters and love, but on top of all these, I know there is a void that constantly hoping to be filled. This feeling is beyond weird. I just don't have the right word to describe it. Things that we used to take for granted, as simple as sending a WhatsApp message, we took for granted that it would be replied. The company I used to have every morning when I go to work. Now I need to take the journey to school alone. When I'm over the moon, I want to tell you firsthand. <laughs> Reality pulls me back down real hard. When I'm frustrated and sad, the silence is deafening. Friends and family around me told me to let it go, <laughs> to believe that those who have passed will forever be in our hearts and that they are up in the sky looking over us. Yes, this is what I kept telling myself too, time and time again. These few days, I came across Mr. Ginger's song, Thank You Pearl. It's really because of you I searched around and came across this song, Dear My Friend. For some reasons, the lyrics resonated with me. I was one man against the world, yet you never doubted my absurdity. How do I accept that we'll be parting ways the next day? I remember I was on my way back home from work, got a message, rushing home to record audio messages for you with the voice. I can't remember how I did it among all the crying. My brain was fried, my mind a mess. If my sky was never brightened with your light, how lonesome would my life have been? If you hadn't been by my side on that darkest day, who else would have listened to my rants and embraced my depression in the worst of times? It was always you who had lent me these familiar shoulders so I could let my emotions loose. My loneliness grows as your cheery face rests yonder behind me. My tears have run dry, yet you are my oasis, who had revitalized me like you always did. Lighting up the brightest of stars from your deserted island. Now that you've departed, those battles in real life I must do without you. But there it comes to mind in the bleakest of times, our happiest moments lending me courage so I can tread forth in your stead. If your heaven is all I see in the sky today, then please allow my heart to beat on vigorously for you, embracing hope in discomfort, offsetting every ounce of disappointment. One day we'll finally meet and search for our utopia. I'm really glad that I found this song. Again, thank you, Pearl. You have no idea how much it means to me. Going through all these sleepless nights, occupying myself with work to numb my brain, <laughs> looking at all the test messages, pictures, and staring into space. This past year have been a steep learning journey for me. The universe has shown me and forced me to 
recognized and asked me to reevaluate what is the most important thing in life. This year, by random chance, one of my friends sent me an astrology video. Normally, I wouldn't have time to watch those videos, but this time I clicked, I listened, and I cried. And it reminds me that you were the expert in this area, and that you believe in it too. Am I silly to think that it feels like it's the universe, the spirits, showing me a way to get close to you again? As the song goes, you shall always be that kind and bright soul in my mind, as I mimic that smile of yours, believing that you will peer back from afar, from amidst the stars. I promise you that I will keep smiling every day as bright as I can. I ask my students to step out of their comfort zone. Actually, I'm also asking myself to do the same. Hence, this channel, reaching out to more students, do the best I do as a teacher, just like you, no matter where I am. Lastly, I want to shout out to all my friends and family here or afar, my students. Subscribers, thank you all for your support. This video might not be the usual style you see of me, but today I allow myself to follow what feels right. Just want to say, never allow yourself to go to bed angry or upset, no matter what happens to you each day. Parents, teach your kids to say I love you before sending them off to bed. Students and kids, say I love you to your parents every day, or simply just give them a hug. Say I love you to those who matters every day, because you never know if it will be your last. And also, it's just foolish to wait. Peace out until next time.